Well, good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. The NOPD says violent crime is plummeting in the Crescent City over last year. Uh, and many, including the NOPD, point to the presence of Troop NOLA as a driving force in that decrease. Mm -hmm. uh, state police beefed up their presence in the Crescent City, and today we're getting a report of the troopers' first 100 days on duty. Melissa Curtis has more on the strategies both agencies are using to get positive results. Violent crime in New Orleans is going down. Homicides are down 39% from last year. Non-fatal shootings down 46%. Armed robberies down 44%. And carjackings down 47%. NOPD Chief Deputy Superintendent Hans Gonthier says these results aren't just a coincidence, but long term. We look to see where officers can get the most bang for the buck. We deploy assets to that. We do have an intel driven portion of this where it's important we identify who the criminals are that are committing the most crime and we go after them. But he also credits a safer city to the help of Troop NOLA. Seeing uh, more stepped up patrols, we're seeing a lot of sweeps on bourbons. Troop NOLA has now been stationed in the city for 100 days. We conducted 702 traffic stops, made 188 arrests, resulting in 291 felony charges, 190 five misdemeanor charges, 88 fugitive charges. Over the last four months, there's been at least five vehicle chases by Troop NOLA, several of them ending in crashes, but they say they're seeing results. Colonel Robert Hodges with LSP says Troop NOLA, along with their partnerships with other agencies, is a force multiplier for the NOPD. I think the difference is you work smarter instead of harder. Instead of targeting maybe a specific area, we, we target specific behaviors and actions. So wherever the crime leads us. Both agencies say they're hopeful that between strategies and collaboration, New Orleans will keep seeing positive outcomes. Alyssa Curtis, WWL, Louisiana.